Association in-house price in EU in July. Brexit raised the risk of loss of jobs and houses in the UK and it forced many buyers out of property market during the changeover phase. The report on unresolved issues during the transition phase claims there are at least 1 million British expats waiting to know their status in the pre-slash-post-Brexit phase. This is one of the reasons for slowing UK-slash-EU housing markets. The property markets across the continent are consolidating where many new construction projects and new schemes initiated to fulfill housing shortage led to excess supply of houses and resulted in consolidation of prices in some EU cities such as Switzerland, Sweden and Norway. The price of homes is stabilizing in most EU markets in the year after 2017 and growth is varied in different regions. The trends could be seen in global real estate which led the local governments have imposed strict regulations to confine escalation of housing prices. Rather in some countries for example UK and the US affordability has been the main issue where the price of house is rising twice as wages. In US, it has been found that anyone working full-time cannot afford a two-bedroom apartment with their minimum wages. At the same time, the low sale of houses has forced builders to cut the supply sharply, where many new housing projects have been stalled, even in regions where the market was strong during the 2008 financial crisis. The demand for homes continues to grow in UK as per NHBC. In the first half of the year, the prices dropped by 1.9% and house builders estimate their profits may fall by 30% due to increase in property taxes and reduced interest of the buyers during the Brexit phase. There are a number of reasons for lowering growth in the UK. Brexit is one of the key issues. The low interest rates have led to increase in spending in 2017 and this may force the boat to raise rates. Some investors believe the entire generation is paying more for housing and the conditions are not suitable to reducing prices.